Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Easy Academy. Now, in this particular video, we're going to be covering how we can set up Apache Kafka 3.0, the vanilla upstream uh, Apache Kafka distribution on Docker Compose as well as Kubernetes. And then we can use this to get started with our development use case without having to spend too much time to figure out how to manipulate the um, download or the Kafka cluster to work, to work. So this just allows you to focus on what you need to accomplish. You set up the environment and you get started right away with your development use case. Or if you are learning Apache Kafka, you can do this right away without having to mess with all the different setup instructions that are available for Windows, for Macintosh, for Linux and all those different um, issues. So this allows you to run a multi broker or a multi node setup and you can do this in a matter of seconds without having to waste too much time. So let's take a look at what we need to accomplish today. Like I said earlier, the main objective is to get you up and running in just a few seconds. And to do that, I will walk you through how the uh, container was set up. So this container uses environment variables to prepare the configuration files on the fly. So I'm gonna show you how that was done. And then I will also show you how to run this on Docker Compose and then how to set it up on the local Kubernetes cluster. And then once we're done with those two examples, in a third video, I will show you how to do this on Azure Kubernetes service. For each of these examples, once we are done with setting up the cluster, we'll go ahead and explore the cluster and you know take a look at how to, to use it. So that's what we have to do for now. Now, if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking then on the notification bell so that when new content is published, you can find out right away and you can get started with learning Kafka or any other technology topic that I am publishing. I also have other social media handles like Twitter and GitHub where you can follow me along and see what I am posting or publishing from time to time. If you are interested in how to use different open source projects to process data, I have a course on that where the description uh, to that course will be in this uh, video description. You can take a look at it if you're interested in that and give me some feedback once you have checked it out. Now, to get started with today, I will walk you through how the images are prepared, but you don't have to prepare the images yourself. You can just download what I already have in the Docker Compose file, and that should get you up and running in no time. To follow along with me, you will need to head out to this uh, repository where you can check out and clone it to your local environment. So to do that, let's take a look at the repo. So inside this repo, we have th these Docker files. So the base Docker files you can see here downloads the Apache Kafka uh, project, the binaries. And then we have other scripts that extracts environment variable. So these scripts in here, the main point is to extract environment variables and then manipulate all these properties files to create the properties file dynamically using those environment variables. So if you take a look at some of the uh, compose files that we have here, we have so many environment variables. So what this does is that it uses this syntax, it extracts the environment variables, converts it to lowercase and takes out the underscore, puts a dot in that underscore position, and then that prepares the environment variable in real time. So we don't have to mess with all the different uh, properties file and, re and have to republish the Docker images. So that is what was done to make it possible for us, for us to use the upstream Apache Kafka um, version. So once we're done with that, the next step now is for us to go ahead and uh, run this uh, compose up command. But if you if you have not in, um, uh, in installed Docker desktop yet or the Docker CLI in your environment, I would ask you to pause here and go ahead and do that. Now for the for the other tutorial where we're going to be using Kubernetes, uh, you can come up to this page and figure out, you know, see the steps involved in how you can set up Docker desktop, Minikube or Kine or Azure Kubernetes service, how you can also set up the uh, Kube control client and Helm so that we can use that for the Kubernetes section. So the direction on how to set up the environment for that is available in this particular page. And you can take a look at that. 
but to get started i'm going to focus on the compose script where we would be able to run apache kafka in craft mode meaning without zookeeper and then in legacy mode with zookeeper so we are about to get started once we navigate to that directory the only command we have to do is run docker compose up so let us head out to the directory and run that com command so the directory that we, we had to do was the compose legacy directory so once we're inside that directory we're going to run the compose up command and that should allow us to put up the cluster now if you're interested in understanding the other commands that are needed the down command will also allow you to shut down the cluster once you're done but for now we want to be we want to be able to boot up the cluster and we don't have anything else running at the moment so we can just run this uh, docker compose up command and that will allow us to speed up the cluster in very little time so that's what we're about to do now once you have everything set up just go ahead and run this docker compose up command and that should allow you to boot up the cluster in very little time so let's take a look so it is creating the zookeeper container and it's creating the broker containers so it's been 10 seconds so far and i think in about 10 seconds everything was done so now that we have the container up and running the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and explore the cluster so at the bottom of this page i have some commands that will allow you to do that so this one here is for exploring the container the cluster in legacy mode so the container name is broker2 so we're going to head out into that container and now we are inside the container once we're inside the container the next thing we need to do is to navigate to this bin directory And once we're inside the bin directory, we can go ahead and create a topic right away. But before we do that, let's list to see if, there's an, if, if, if there are any topics in this cluster. So we should not have anything yet. We should not have anything yet. So we can now create our, our topic. So we have the first topic created. Once that is created, we can list that topic and we see that we have that topic. Now, one more thing that I want you to pay attention to is that we are able to create topics with more than one, uh, with a replication factor of more than one. In other tutorials, you may be only be able to create partitions, I mean, um, topics with only one, uh, with only one factor of replication, meaning your cluster and your topics can only have one one copy but in order for you to fully understand how kafka works when you're learning it you need to have a multi node setup where you have more than one broker to allow you to create a topic publish the content to that particular topic and then have it replicated to other brokers and other instances and this will allow you to fully understand how kafka works but some of the other tutorials that may be available only sets up this kafka cluster in quick start mode and that is not really useful if you're trying to really understand how Kafka works behind the scenes. So let's take a look at this example here and we're able to create something with a replication factor of two. Now to demonstrate what I'm talking about, if we try to create this top topic here with a replication factor that is more than how many, um, how many broker instances I have, this will fail. And it will fail because I'm trying to create it with a replication factor of five, but I have only three brokers running. So we should see an error message that says that the, the, the factor that we're trying to create it with is more than the number of active or available brokers, and that should fail. So this kind of gives you an idea of why I'm setting up this cluster in multi-node uh, setup so that it would give you the full understanding of how Kafka really works in production environments, and you get to learn it and understand how some of those things are, are functioning. So now we are done with our 
cluster setup we have explored the cluster um if we go ahead and list this particular uh topic here we should be able to see a couple of topics so and then we can now uh, describe which one we can describe world capitals so if we describe world capitals we should be able to see that the topic was created and everything is up and running so as you can see here the topic name is world capitals it has three partitions and the leaders of each partition are listed here by, by their broker id and then we have the replicas on other um, node instances or, or other brokers and we have this isr meaning the number of uh, the in sync replicas so all the replicas are in sync with the leader meaning that broker id two and one uh, have been have, are now up to date with the actual leader if they're falling behind then those will be taken out of the instant replica list and you'll see fewer uh, broker ids in that uh, environment so i think our cluster is up and running and we are good to go so we should now be able to shut down the cluster and then i will move to the next video to show you how to do it in kubernetes so let's head out to our our deck now now in this particular tutorial i was just focusing on uh, docker compose and then in the next video i will walk you through how to do this with azure community service and in a third video i will show you how to uh, how to do sorry um, in the next video we'll show you how to do this on kubernetes on your local environment meaning your laptop or desktop and then in video video number three i will show you how to do this on azure kubernetes uh, service so like I said earlier, once we're done with each of these setup, we explore the cluster and we take a look at what is uh, going on. So if you like my content again, please feel free to subscribe, share the content with everyone you think will benefit. And if you like to learn about how to use open source software to process data, I have a course just for that. And you can check it out in the description. So I want to thank you very much for your time. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.